All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Freddie Roach. All right, where does Freddie Roach go from here? Um, let's just talk about Freddie Roach for a little bit. Here's a guy in, in Freddie Roach who, for the last decade, has been looked at as the best trainer in boxing. All right? All the trainer of the year awards. Let me ask you guys something. If Freddie Roach is such a great trainer, why is it that after four fights with the same fighter, Freddie Roach was not able to make any adjustments? Any adjustments? None. None. Here's a guy who has now seen this year all of his best fighters lose. All of his best fighters. Okay? What's happening to the Freddie Roach stable? Okay? You got Amir Khan getting knocked out by Danny Garcia. Okay, before that, Amir Khan lost to Lamont Peterson. You got Julio Cesar Chavez getting outclassed by Sergio Martinez. And now we got Manny Pacquiao getting knocked out by Juan Manuel Marquez. Okay. So what happened, guys? What happened to the all-time great trainer, Freddie Roach? Now, I had nothing against Freddie Roach. I really don't. You know, I really could care less about Freddie Roach or really any of these trainers. Because to be honest, I think all of these trainers are overrated. I think these days there is not many good trainers in boxing. Every last one of them are pretty much overrated, okay? I'm sure there's a couple of good trainers, but I just think that these days they're, they're just all overrated. That's just my opinion, but I think Freddie Roach is by far the most overrated, by far, with all the accolades that this man has received, okay? And I've, I've known that Freddie Roach was overrated for the longest time. I've talked about this before, okay? Because as a guy who's watched a lot of Amir Khan fights, I've asked myself the question, why is a man who is, who is looked at as being such a great trainer not able to make adjustments, whether it's in the fight or before the fight? In training camp, he can't make adjustments. Why is it that a man that's such a, supposed to be such a good trainer can't teach his fighters how to tie up, doesn't know how to teach his fighters how to, how to fight off of the back foot? Okay. All of these different things. His fighters only know how to fight one way, and that's coming forward. That's it. They all fight the exact same way. How many times do people have to tell you guys that? But now, finally, I'm seeing comments where you guys are finally wanting to, to blame Freddie Roach. And let me be clear. Freddie Roach isn't 100% to blame because Pacquiao just got knocked out. Or for any of his fighters who, lost, who who have lost, because at the end of the day, the trainer can't get in there and and actually implement these things. It's up to the fighters. The fighters have to do it, okay? But it's the trainer's job to at least try to maximize what their fighter has, okay? And I don't even think Freddie Roach is good at doing that, okay? I think there's trainers who make fighters, and then there's fighters who who make trainers. That's what Freddie Roach has been. He, his, his fighters have made Freddie Roach who he is. And to be honest, I don't really think there's too many trainers out there right now who made fighters. The last one, I would say, was Emmanuel Stewart. Okay, and he obviously passed away. Rest in peace to him. So after that, the rest of these guys, I, don't, I wouldn't say that they make trainers, okay? I mean, that they make these fighters. You know, and I like some of these trainers. I like Roger Mayweather. I like Robert Garcia. But, like I said, these trainers are overrated. And when it comes to being overrated, Freddie Roach is number one. I don't even think he's a good trainer at all. Like I said, you fought the same fighter four times. And not one time could you really make an adjustment and do anything differently. Go back and watch all those fights. Listen into the to the, to the things that Freddie Roach says. <laughs> You know, I think his game plan is flawed coming into half of these fights. So it's time for somebody who's been given so much credit over the years 
to be criticized and to be called out. He's an overrated trainer. All right, and this is him coming to the end of his career. If Freddie Roach was such a good trainer, then his career would continue after Pacquiao's career ends, okay? He would still move on and have a successful career. He would still be able to train other notable fighters. First of all, other than the guys that are in his stable, I don't see guys running up to try to fight to have Freddie Roach train them. Okay? Actually, it's the opposite. It looks like, you know, slowly his stable is starting to move up, move on and go other ways. But it's like I said, a trainer is only so much to blame. But at the end of the day, when you're somebody like Freddie Roach, who's gotten so much credit over the years, hey, you want that large piece of the pie when it comes to the credit? You better be damn sure you're going to be eating a long piece, of, uh, a big piece of that pie when it comes to the blame. OK, so he's overrated. He's, he's overhyped, just like Manny Pacquiao was. Just like Manny Pacquiao was. It's the truth. Okay? What has Manny Pacquiao done at welterweight? What has he done in, in the welterweight division? Okay? For you guys to be sitting here and comparing this man to all-time greats. It's just not... It's just not accurate. Okay? And what I'm really looking forward to is... I can't wait to, to see when Ring Magazine is going to change their rankings and what their rankings are going to be now. That's what I'm waiting for because their rankings are ridiculous. Right now they have Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather tied at number one as far as, uh you know, well, no, no, no. Yeah, they have them tied, I think, at number one for the, for, oh, no, for the number two spot on the pound for pound list, I think. They have the number one spot vacant. And then on on the welterweight list, they have Manny Pacquiao number one and Floyd number two. And I don't even know who they have number three. So I just can't wait this week to see what the rankings are going to look like, man. The media just got turned on their head, man. And that's what happens, man. You guys sat there like little children and got spoon-fed by the media. That's what happened. You guys didn't want to listen to the people who were on here actually, you know, giving you guys real boxing insight. So what could I say? Just another hype job that pretty much, you know, has been falling. Okay? You know, it's not to say that Manny Pacquiao was a horrible fighter. But he is just an overrated fighter. It just is what it is. Go back and watch the fights. Go ask yourself who he actually beat. Go ask yourself why he was fighting all of these guys after they came off of beatdowns. All of these guys after they were coming off of beatdowns. Okay? You guys all talk about how he fought Antonio Margarito at at at, at you know a high weight and all of his belts. Okay, he fought Antonio Margarito after he came off of the beatdown of his life, off of the worst beating of his career against Shane Mosley. He fought Antonio Margarito. He fights Shane Mosley after Shane Mosley has been in boxing for twenty years. He finally fights Shane Mosley and doesn't look good against him. Then he fights Marquez for the third time. Many people think Marquez won that fight. Okay, I don't think I think Marquez left no doubt in this fourth fight, man. Marquez said, "I'm not leaving any doubt in this fourth fight." But um, you know that's basically it, man. These guys are pretty much overrated, you know, from top to bottom. So, Freddie Roach, man, you're 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 looking like a joke right now. It just is what it is. So uh, now, finally, all, all these Manny Pacquiao fans, I'm seeing them leaving comments and. Talking about Freddie Roach this and Freddie Roach that. Now you guys don't think Freddie Roach is good anymore. But like I said, when he was getting trainer of the years, nobody was complaining. But, uh, hey man, it sucks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Freddie Roach, if, if Freddie Roach's fighters keep losing like this, man, he's going to be looking for work pretty soon, man. He's going to be looking for work pretty soon. Um, That's my thoughts on